Um, what did you guys think about the fact this is a little morbid, so you can we can choose not to talk about it, but the stock market basically did nothing today on the news that the most important person in the free world, theoretically. Um, I think you just answered your own question, Chamath. I, I can chime in on this one. Is I don't think that people perceive that Trump is good or bad uh, for the economy either way, and that the economy is separated now from politics because they think Biden or Trump are going to have the same policies, which you said before. They have the same policies. So why does it matter? If Trump were to well, tragically die, no, it, it, it would it, not make a difference in the American economy. It's not going to affect people buying iPhones. It might shake people psychologically, but I don't think in a massive way because he's almost out of office. So I think it's all baked yeah. in. That's why the market did do anything. What do you yeah. think, Sachs? I, I want to disagree slightly with the idea this election doesn't matter. Um, I, I think it will matter a lot if uh, the Democrats win the Senate as well as the presidency, because then they will have one party control and they can pass as much legislation as they want. And I think a lot of things will, will get signed. And I think the Biden presidency could be very consequential, at least for two years, um, while all this legislation is passed, even if you know he's not you know, out in front saying very much. Um, I mean, the, the significance will be in the, in, the, in the pen to sign the legislation. If the Republicans hold on to the Senate, but Biden wins the presidency, I agree with you that it's not going to be a tremendously consequential election because we'll have gridlock and divided government again. And um, so I think a lot hinges on whether Biden wins with or without the Senate. I, I don't disagree with you. The only thing that I will say is that I think that Biden will drag the country, especially if it's a, you know, up and down democratic ticket, back to the 80s and 90s, more to the sort of the George Baker school of diplomacy and governance. And I think that if I and I don't know him to know this, but I think that if he really were to have a legacy, I'm sus I, I would suspect that part of again, because he's mentioned that, you know, why did he run? He said the pivotal moment was like Charlottesville and Trump's reaction to Charlottesville. I think Biden is really moored by this concept of decency. And I think that if if he were there and he thought to himself, I'm gonna be here for four years because that's the right responsible thing to do, but no more. Um, I don't think that you're gonna see a bunch of crazy legislation pass. I think Biden's gonna say, guys, this is what I expect to do. By the way, did you because and I and I think I would bet on that because of what he said at the beginning of the debate. He's like, uh, I am the Democratic Party. I don't know if you guys remember I that. Did, at the yeah, I, I do remember that. That, that was incredible. That was so that powerful. Was a, yeah, that was a very Darth Sidious emperor move when he said, I no, am no, the no. Republic. He was, I think he was trying to basically <laughs> say, like, firewall the, the far left or yeah. the far left, the socialist left and say, that rhetoric is not what I was elected on. I was elected on my platform, I am the party, this is what I believe, and everybody else will have to toe the line. And mm. by the way, in the end, that's not such a bad thing. Yeah. It's a man. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think that that was a really important moment for him is for him to say, look, I'm in charge here, because the Republicans have been making the argument that he's a Trojan horse for all these like far left elements. AOC. You know? AOC. And so it was, very, it was very important for him to come forward and say, no, I'm, I'm the one leading this ticket. Now, that being said, and I think it would be a great thing for the country if Biden brought the Democratic Party back to more of a, you know, Bill Clinton to, yeah. you know, Obama type centrism, or, you know, center leftism, I guess you could say, as opposed to this sort of like crazy, you know, woke Marxism or Maoism, whatever you want to call it. Um, yep. But I'm, I'm very skeptical that he will, because I think Biden has always positioned himself throughout his career as being at the center of the Democratic Party. And I think he moves as the Democratic Party moves. I agree he's not going to be all the way to the left of the Democratic Party, but those left elements will drag his sort of center to, to further to the left and will end up with sort of a, a compromise. And I think at the end of the day, if the Democrats win Congress, he'll sign whatever they, they pass. Mm, I'm, I'm not so sure. I really, I really, I'm not so sure. The the White House is uh, not that far away. It looks like it's a 30 minute drive from Walter Reed. Sending a helicopter is that normal? Because he drove there last time. Would that be indicative of this as an emergency type situation? Sending Marine One as opposed to just driving there for 20 minutes? I think they'd get, look, they'd be in a, there'd be a lot of liability if he had an actual medical emergency and they were just like, yeah, we're going to send him for a few days out of an abundance of caution. The fact that they said out of an abundance of caution, I think 
You, if there is an emergency, you, you can't get away with saying that. Oh, you can. For sure they know. would lie. I don't know. It'll come out but later, You're saying right? the Trump administration is above lying about situations? Well, if, if, if he's think. unconscious, they got to swear Penson. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why you got to be careful no, with No, I'm this, not saying right? he's unconscious. I'm just saying... It, it's is not even unconscious. Marine right? One, it, like... Yeah. I'm just thinking out loud here. Is sending a helicopter for a 20 minute ride in a motorcade like seems a little. I mean, intense? I would take a I would take a helicopter to the 7-Eleven if I had a helicopter. <laughs> like, Fair enough. I'm taking a hel- <laughs> you're taking a helicopter down to now, uh, that is the something poker game? I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's. This is I think a good 